It was a profound experience. I was sitting in Ben Vereen's living room and you know, he asked me if I wanted to see the video, which I hadn't seen in more than 20 years. Oh, you want to see the video? So in that instance, you know, I felt like I was sitting outside of my own body and asking myself, like, when did this performance begin and when did it end? Until, until, until is an installation and a, and a play, which is based on a performance that the actor Ben Vereen did in 1981, where he performed in blackface in front of Ronald Reagan, George Bush, as a, as a form of protest. But what he didn't know was that his performance, which existed in two acts, was going to be edited by ABC television. It's the second act that contained the critique. So, you know, black audiences back home, that's all that they saw was Ben Vereen doing a menstrual show. The impact on his career and on his life was fierce. I was developing both the play and building the library around the same time. Some of the elements that you see in here, mirrors, reflections, things that double, seeing like partial views of things are um, some of the same kinds of experiences that you have in the installation. In this library, you're looking at the history of books from the scroll to the handmade bounded book to, you know, these crystallized sugar books. But we're also using that as a way of exploring history or how we tell the stories that we tell. And in particular, we're looking at African American history. The trauma part of it is the emotional center of both the Library of Black Lives as well as and until because they both possess figures that have gone through some kind of baptism of the flesh. So in both instances it's sort of like taking up something that we thought that we knew and it's a way of telling the story which allows people to build um, their own story through a bunch of fragments. So this work, what I'm trying to do is to get people to walk through it, to get to a certain point where they have to look back where they came from and then transform their understanding, what it is that the work is trying to say and then what does that say about them.